The bid for a National Rugby League team has taken a back seat behind a new push for a major project. Capricorn Enterprise has changed its priorities and is calling for funding for a convention centre in Rockhampton. They've been lobbying for a footy team for years. Now it seems the goalposts have moved. There's a number of opportunities uh, that have presented themselves from the state government uh, that uh, certainly probably won't ever present themselves again. This is the new number one target for Capricorn Enterprise, a 1,000-seat, $150 million convention centre. It's always been tied to the CQ NRL bid, but the bid team's called a change in play, pushing for a convention centre first. This will generate uh, jobs, it'll generate tourism, uh, so all the region will benefit. More than 1,000 construction jobs and 425 permanent positions are predicted. The centre will aim to host major events and draw in hundreds of millions to the local economy each year. So the pull uh, from this stadium is, is national. It's one of Capricorn Enterprise's seven priority projects it hopes will be funded from the state government's Queensland plan. But they've got to tackle fellow bid teams vying for the same funds. We are the only regional city in Queensland without a convention centre or a stadium. Now, uh, that is just unforgivable. While they're kicking on with the new tactics, the bid for an NRL team is still alive. Still a little bit of time to go. The NRL haven't made a decision at this stage and they're going to discuss that further on towards the end of this year. The team needs a lot of public and political support for either project to cross the line. Brent O'Halloran, 7 News. Capricorn Enterprise has listed a convention centre as its priority project for the Rockhampton area. The state government had previously committed to funding if the region secured an NRL team, but Cap Enterprises says it needs to go ahead regardless. Rockhampton is the only major city in Queensland without a convention centre. But now the city is in a fierce battle for funding as part of the Queensland plan. The towns full are out there, they're agitating for another convention centre, another stadium. They want to spend 360 odd million dollars. They've already got a stadium, they've already got a convention centre, we've got neither. But Capricorn Enterprise has listed a 20,000 seat stadium and a 1,000 seat convention centre on top of a new list of seven priority projects for the region's long term growth plan. The Tourism and Development Organisation doesn't want the state and federal government to base its funding on whether the CQ NRL bid is successful. We must ensure that government understands what this city and this region is missing out on because we don't have a convention centre and a stadium. Capricorn Enterprise says the stadium and convention centre to be built near the showgrounds could attract multi-million dollar events to the city, which provides jobs and income for business. Cairns hosted an AFL game recently and they said there was something like 5,000 people came to Cairns, the majority of them from Melbourne and they stayed three or four days. CQ NRL bid chairman Jeff Murphy compares the success of Mudgee in country New South Wales to what Rockhampton could achieve. They've hosted uh, 18 athletics uh, carnivals, 12 rugby league events, 8 rugby union events, 10 soccer events and 8 entertainment based events in the last 12 months. But Cap Enterprise knows it now needs the full support of the community to be successful. Matthew Russell, Win News.